these kind of motion graphics are easily possible in blender with the help of extra nodes of geometry nodes you can easily customize uh, this setup for your need and by using these uh, techniques you can easily create a different variation or uh, something like this and i will also break down this project file in this video let's get start a quick disclaimer for this you need the full version of the extra nodes okay because we're going to use the particle system and scatter nodes uh, we have this plane let's add the geometry nodes modifier to this and we don't need this group input node first we're going to add the c line the curve line primitive add the resample node so that we have enough points uh, for the displacement maybe around uh, 50 and then we're going to add the scatter node okay so if you assign the extra nodes as the SL library, you can add these nodes uh, from this menu or uh, from this asset browser, or you can add that uh, from this add menu. Okay, so let's add the line scatter and plug that here. So let's first change this to offset and 5 for the count, and for this, we're going to use 0.3 offset uh, with this value you can change the scale of these lines let's uh, use 2 or maybe 2.5 uh, a little bit longer then we need to realize this because these are the instances and for displacement uh, we need the actual geometry then we're going to add the case a displace node uh, to displace these lines we want this to be on the along the z axis and here we're going to use uh, the fall of nodes so first we need the ks curve factor fall of node and we need to convert this and then we're going to add the wave fall of node okay like that into this we don't need to apply the fall of and also we need the full wave cycle uh, we can decrease the overall amplitude of these waves and let's increase the this input value for the follow-up uh, maybe let's add the pi value and then we can play with the frequency okay 10 is fine and then we need to slightly offset the phase so that uh, we have our ramp at the start because we want to roll down the balls or uh, something like that uh, basically it is uh, pi by 2 okay if you want to use the exact value i think we need to slightly increase the scale so that we have a smooth these the ramps yeah something like that so we have these uh, wave lines uh, next we're going to offset these uh, lines uh, for that we're going to use uh, the index nth file of node and then we need to store that here because later we're going to use this file of also for the material okay so let's call this mask and this should be on the spline domain if i add the named attribute node so see it is true for every second uh, spline if you change this to three it will be true for every third spline and so on uh, you can also change the offset if you want and here you can also use the custom index okay next we're going to add the set position node and we're going to use this for the selection and here we're going to define the offset uh, let me go to the side view so maybe uh, something like that let's say point six yeah okay so now this is good next uh, we're going to convert this into a mesh to mesh and also add the profile okay so add the c line so let's define the start from point uh, minus 5 to a point plus 5 and also make this 0. Now it has a 
scale or length one unit then we can get the transform geometry to change uh, the scale of this line uh, why i define this by one unit because it is easy to change the scale because it is one unit and if i set this to 0.25 or if i set this to 0.3 see they are perfectly closed together which is the same offset uh, that we used here okay so that's why it is easy to play with these uh, values if we have this uh, one unit now let's add the particles first we need to add the separate geometry node and then add the end selection see we have these end selections in our case we only need the start points on these points we're going to scatter the particles so let's make this zero now we have only the start points and here we're going to add the this particle system node okay let's combine them now let's go inside this and first thing we need to change is connect this to the points okay and also enable this option we're going to use the input points as a meter okay next we want all the points should born on the first frame see the points are there and they fall down okay and here you can play with the size of these particles to add the collision of these particles with these strips we're going to use the ps collision force node connect that here here we're going to define the surface basically these strips and here we need to change few things first decrease the bounce and in the particle setting we need to enable the add rotation and also enable this void by size not by distance and in the advance in this case the surface are really smooth so we don't need to enable this option surface diffuse normal however if if the surface has sharp corners or there is a sharp change in the normals uh, you can enable this option okay and in the particle instancer we also need to enable this collision or rotation okay now let's go outside this and if we rerun the simulation the particles are not colliding with these strips because they are already uh, below the strips so we need to slightly move them above the strips so let's add the transform uh, geometry node uh, let's move them slightly above the strips maybe 0.25 this is too much maybe 0.2 okay so now if we run this they are rolling on the strips so let's slightly add the slope to these lines so that uh, they roll along these uh, strips so basically we're going to add a slight rotation about the x-axis uh, maybe something like that yeah now it's working so let's add some variation to these particles the first thing we need to change is the emission so we want this emission to be happen maybe from 1 to let's say 30 frames so that we have uh, this kind of variation in the particles and next we can add the variation in the size okay maybe around 0.05 to 0.1 so now we have a uh, different size particles okay so let's increase the subdivisions then we're going to add the store named attribute node and we're going to store these uvs if you want to add the texture to these balls next we're going to add the set shade smooth node to smooth these uh, spheres and here you can also add the big node so let me change this to animation and let's see the total animation 
fine now suppose you are happy with this animation uh, you can bake this okay now let's add the material to this let's set material node uh, duplicate this and connect two times because we are going to add the variations in the material for these strips then we're going to use the mask for the selection okay so every second uh, strip is going to have a different material i have already downloaded these materials from blender kit add-on or you can also download these materials uh, from the polyheaven so here we're going to use this marble material and here we can use the cement and then the tiles now let's see them see they are not working okay the first thing for this strip is that we don't have the uvs and these are the texture so we need to specify the uvs for that we're going to capture the factor of the spline and then we're going to build uh, the uvs add spline parameter node and capture this vector and then combine this uh, with this vector node now we have this 2d vector uh, that uh, we can use for the uvs store that change this to 2d vector this to face corner and connect this to this so these are the uv map see now it is working now let's change the scale of these uvs and also fix the material for these uh, spheres go to the shading so first let's go to this marble texture here these uh, spheres are instances uh, you can see that here so these are the instances so sometimes uv does not work so we need to use the attribute node and specifically define that uvs that we have stored in the geometry nodes so let's connect that see now it is working and for the cement so for the cement we need to increase the scale of this uvs maybe around 20 and also i'm going to decrease the scale of this displacement very subtle or so something like that same for the tiles we have to change the scale basically this x-axis scale maybe 20 20 sorry 15 10 yeah 10 looks fine maybe 12 yeah now they are square so now it's working fine so we have this material and they are perfectly working and here you can change the number of strips if you want now you have to basically delete this bake rebake these uh, particle system so let's change this back to five and also bake the simulation now let's add a thickness to these strips first we're going to add the solidify modifier around 0 0.05 then we're going to add the bevel modifier in 0 0.005 and now let's see this Yeah, nice now let's add the lights uh, to this so first we're going to off the hdr lighting make this zero and now we have black or uh, let me quickly frame the camera for this then we're going to use only one light that is the area light then we need to increase the power maybe around 25 also the scale and for the ev you can enable this jitter option and also enable the jitter shadow to increase the realism uh, to this render so now you have these motion graphics okay this is it about this motion graphic setup now i'll break down my second project files where i used the similar techniques 
to create a different kind of uh, motion graphics so here is the setup uh, for this so first i use this arc primitive and created this kind of uh, geometry and here i have also stored the uvs as we did earlier and then i transform to in this position okay and after that i instanced this on a line and created this kind of profile so basically the idea is the ball start from this location and then jump into this and after that jump into this and so on in the end it jump into this last geometry and stay there okay so basically the idea is these uh, profiles are made from the metal and the last one is made from the wood so it has more friction and the ball basically stay there after that i have added these animations to these instances with the help of this gray file of node okay then to add the support uh, to these geometries i created this pole then i scatter that with the help of point scatter node at the location of these instances okay so if we combine them we have something like this okay and for the particles so basically i have transform on this arc at the similar location that we have this geometry after that i separated the start point and used the particle system to add this sphere uh, that will collide with these objects okay inside this so the same node setup the only thing i have added is this friction control and enable the surface diffuse normal option for the friction i have added this empty and use this fall off to control the friction so basically it's going to have more friction near to this empty okay we have these multiple objects and the normals are changing very sharply so that's why i have enabled this surface diffuse normal option after that i baked the simulation then i have added this marble material uh, to this sphere for this object case so i have created this double sided object which has same shape that is here okay basically i copied this setup into a different object and applied the geometry nodes modifier so now we have this kind of shape see so this is the shape that we going to use for the rendering okay it is also possible to use this shape uh, but i don't want to add more complexity to this node setup so i have created it separately in the end i have overwrite the material for this last object see for all these object has uh, the inside material is metallic now uh, for this case i have changed this to a wood uh, just to create that illusion since it has more friction that's where the ball gets stopped there for the lighting so this is the lighting from the hdr image so i have added these top lights to add the rim highlights from the top side and this sunlight to add the rim lights from this side okay so this is it you can get all these project files and preset from my patron page or you can get the extra notes from the blender market from my gumroad page or from my patron page so i hope you learned something uh, from this video so if you like then please like and share the video and subscribe to my channel for more updates thank you for watching see you in the next video happy noding bye